Are you getting false positive virus detections? In this video, you will know what a false positive virus is and how to remove it. Before we start this guide, press the like button and subscribe to our channel in case you forget later. What is a false positive virus? When an antivirus detects a normal file as a virus, it is called false positive detection. Antiviruses use two kinds of detection methods. The first one is signature-based detection, and another one is behavioral-based detection. In signature-based detections, antiviruses use the hash value of the virus file to identify it. So when an antivirus finds similarities to the hash value for the program you are running, it blocks that program. In behavioral-based detections, antivirus analyzes the behavior of the applications. When their actions match with the virus, they are flagged as a virus. This technique is also susceptible to false positives. If a normal program does any activity that looks like a virus, antiviruses block it. False positive is very common with the antiviruses. The developers had to follow lots of cautions in reducing it. Still, none of the antiviruses can be fully proofed for false positive detections. How to make sure if it is a false positive virus? If you are suspicious about a file, if it is a false positive or nasty virus, you can follow a few steps to ensure it is a correct program. The first step is to check the VirusTotal website. VirusTotal has several antivirus engines that scan your file and provide a full report. So, for example, if your antivirus is considering a program as a threat, you can take the opinions of other antiviruses. If none of them other than your antivirus considers that program a threat, it must be a false positive. You can directly upload a file to examine or paste the program URL you are trying to install. You can also search for already scanned files using URL, IP address, domain, or file hash. The second thing you can do is search for that file or program in the search engine. If the program is suspicious, you can see some chatter about it. People often report fake software that is bundled with malware in the forums, so make sure to check them also. How to stop getting false positive virus detection now you are sure that your program is a genuine false positive, meaning it is safe to install, then you can stop getting false positive detection from your antivirus. To do that, you have to add it to exclude items in your antivirus. Different antiviruses have different methods to add a file or program in exclusions, but you can mostly do it from the quarantine or the report section. Select the file in the quarantine and exclude it. Another thing you can do is to report your antivirus about the false positive. You can visit their site or send the file for analysis and stop the false positive virus detection in the next virus definition update. The antivirus developers are pretty much active about the false positive detections and they quickly resolve this. That's it for this video. If it does help you, press the like button and share the video with your friends. We keep uploading videos related to computer security, so subscribe to our channel and press the bell button to make sure you don't miss anything.